addressing party supporters at a rich laying ceremony at Babu John, where a monument has been erected in memory of the late president, Ali said Mrs. Jagan made great sacrifices for the people of Guyana. Personally, he noted that he benefited more from her than he did from her husband, Dr. Chedi Jagan, because of the age difference. Throughout her life, he said, she not only fought for women's rights, but the rights of all citizens. And Governor Janet had some distinguished qualities that are needed today as we confront the struggle of a new form of dictatorship, as we confront the struggle that can be inhibitive to our own rights and freedom in this country. And that initial quality was consciousness. Governor Janet, at a very young age, at age, was conscious of the environment and circumstances she lived in and she was surrounded by. And she took bold steps and bold decisions in confronting the inadequacies of that environment. Ali explained that what the past president did for the development of Guyana was more difficult than can be explained simply because she was a woman. He said there is need to reflect and be inspired by what she did. And the struggle today is one in which our parliamentary democracy is at risk. Our national democracy is at risk. And our electoral freedom is at stake. And these are fundamental aspects of a society that is free, a society that represents the interests and rights of everyone. So her life was embedded with struggles. Moreover, Ali referred to Janet Jagan as a woman who put her personal freedom at risk for the people of a foreign country which she adopted as her own. But her entire life was marked with struggle at various points. Even when the PPP came to government, the democracy was restored. Her struggles continued, and when she lost her lifelong partner, then becoming president in a, in a political environment that became very poisoned, a political environment that became very poisoned as a result of the political immaturity, as a result of the opposition then, and the way in which they manage their, uh, their political aspects. For the Evening News, Andrew Carmichael.